Hey y'all, today is the It Was Just Our Imagination. Look, I had to really use mine in this one. But it is a challenge, and it's an open challenge, so if anybody wants to join, come on. And it's hosted by my best friend Brenda from Rustic and Lakes DIY and me. And this month, drum roll please, oh never mind, you can already see. The winner was Miss Jackie Burns from Jackie Burns Creation. Check out everybody in list. The, the link will be in my description box down below, you guys. Okay, y'all. Right here, I got a um, big old giant canvas. These I got two for five dollars at Five Below like last year, and I'm just gonna remove all the staples in the canvas off of it and use the frame. And I'm gonna paint in mineral chalk paint by Waverly. And I'm gonna take one of these garden fences and um, my big old honking scissors, and I'm gonna cut off those pieces, those extra pieces. And then, oh, I'm gonna sand down, you know, the plastic anyway so these came from miss lisa floyd thank you lisa oh and i'm going to remove all the pieces off of it and the tags also and um with my heat tool and i'm going to take some goo gone and wipe that extra gunk away and then i like to take and spray it with al rubbing alcohol um i mean it dries you know it evaporates but i feel like it gets some of that oily like residue off but anyway and here, I'm just going to mark down um, these signs on my frame to see um, where I need to cut them. And I'm going to take, and I cut eight of them. And, yes, she sent me a ton of them. And, like, 11, I think. That's amazing. Thank you very much. And then, um, I'm just marking here. It's a, it's about a half an inch. I know y'all like, I'll never have signs like that to be able to do it. But, you know. Um, I digress. So, and I'll go ahead and mark up a half an inch, and I'm going to cut them before I glue them together because it's easier to cut them when you're scoring them if they're not glued when you have two of them. But I do tape them together to make sure I get them even. And I just go ahead and take my knife here and, yep, cut that extra piece off. And then I'm going to take Aileen's Tacky Glue and uh, an awful lot of it and hot glue. And I'm going to stick my signs together. And, of course, yes, I do that to all eight of them. And then I take uh, Cottage White by Folk Art. That's my go-to paint anymore, you guys. I just love that. I just ordered another one <clears throat> from Amazon. It's in my description box. I also um, always get the 32-ounce. But I also put, like, the 16-ounce and 8-ounce in there also if you guys are interested. Um... But, yeah, don't do it like, I'm not, I'm not doing that for money. I just, I get questions about it. And I want y'all to know. Anyway, and here I'm just going to take hot glue and glue my um, boards on there. And there, anyway, I'm so hillbilly. And, um, oh, I'll get somebody come at me and say, yes, you are. I can't stand to hear you talk. But anyway, and here I'm going to take my fence. Oh, I, did I staple? No, I didn't staple them. Look, she wants to say hi, you guys. Since this chair's lower, she is all up on my table. It's crazy. And Abby's getting pretty friendly herself, so y'all might see her pop in. There she is. <laughs> anyway, and then as I'm working here, I don't realize that I'm still recording Jesse, and y'all don't get to see anything I'm doing. So, I do it again. So, I take my square here, and um, you know what? I don't even think I use this method. What I was doing is... Um, in the, I want to, um, like, okay, see how that is? I want those, I want that, yeah, that one centered. Because I want three of those pointy up things on my thing. Because I want it to look even. I didn't want it to be like, do y'all know what I'm saying? I just wanted it to look nice. That's it. But what I end up doing after all that measuring, I just take a, um, yeah, marker there and just um, mark it like that. And then I cut it with my scissors, um, my regular scissors. Y'all will see at the end of the video ugh, what happened. But anyway, and then, um, yeah, that part's really easy to cut. But if you're, like, removing, what's in my pocket? Removing um, those heavier pieces on the ends that you latch. You see that piece up there? It's hum humping up, humping up. <laughs> oh, no. Um, it's bent up. Um, so... What I did, and it's where I cut off that peg that goes in the ground. So, it made it weaker there. But what I did was set a big old heavy can of Rust-Oleum uh, paint on it. And where that hump is. 
And I let it set overnight, and that hump went down, so it doesn't look so wonky. I know, I'm a perfectionist. But anyway, then I painted my fence black. And then I take, uh, I cut out a stencil on my Cricut, and it says, then sings my soul. Listen, I was at Hobby Lobby, and I saw a picture. It wasn't anything like this one. But I loved it, what that said, and I was like, oh, i got to make me something that says it. So then we was doing this challenge, and... I was like, well, I don't even know how I came up with that fence thing. I, I, this was not totally what I was going to do. And I could say this for the entire video. Plus, I had... I'll explain later. But anyway, I just take a stencil brush and black chalk paint and I stencil it. And I like to remove mine when it's wet. Some people don't. I do because I don't like when it starts drying and it starts sticking to my, uh, the paint starts sticking, and then you go to pull some of that vinyl up, and it can pull some of your paint up, and I'm like, I don't like that, but I have dropped a piece before, and yes, but I just painted over it, and I know it doesn't ever look the same, but, ah, uh, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's better than a big black blob on your picture. Say that really fast five times. And then I take this eucalyptus Miss Rose gave me, thanks, Rose, and, um, some of those little blue flowers from Dollar Tree, and some of those pretty um i forgot what the they're called um spike bush or spike spike something aren't they pretty and they're really long so that's why i used them because i want to look like my little garden fence of course was around my garden and y'all i love this one i love it i think it's my absolute favorite oh i love it i like it a lot <laughs> hope y'all like it too <coughs> Anyway, I really wanted you all to see it. Mm-hmm. You can see how much I liked it. Okay, right here, I, I got that board from my garage, and it has a slit in it right there. I did not care, so what? But I cut it in the shape of, you know, a house, gave it a roof and stuff, and I sanded it down really good. That used to be a drawer, um, or side of a drawer to a dresser for one of my kids had. But anyway, so I do that. I just I paint it like that with... um cashew chalk paint by <laughs> and look oh no miss danny steinmeyer sent me that rice paper and can you believe how pretty that is anyway oh one of our challenges was garden fence i came up with that one and then i'm like what am i gonna do but i take again oh, i don't think you see it but already anyway i take my paintbrush and um put water on it and go around the edges because i don't want it to be like cut straight perfect edge my you know what i mean when I, uh, Mod Podge it on, but y'all, look at this, Ugh. and it's going perfect, because this, we had to use a rubber stamp, and I was like, all right, I got you, rubber stamp, but anyway, I'm gonna take a Mod, Mod Podge, and put a light coat on it, like that, y'all see what I'm doing, I'm gonna do it in sections, and then I'm gonna lay my paper down, I'm gonna press it down, like, really good, um, you don't want to do that with a napkin. You can rip it. You don't want to press very hard. And then I'm, yeah, like I said, I'm doing it in sections because I don't want wrinkles. I mean, sometimes I don't mind wrinkles, but I didn't want wrinkles this time. But anyway, um, yeah. So, and then I do take a piece of saran wrap and lay it on my paper because it is tacky and rub it down real good um, to make sure, like, if there's any bubbles or anything underneath it or something I missed, I want to get that out. But I got this little stamp from Amazon. It's so cute. It was a bunny rabbit. I had to get a rubber stamp. I didn't have any stamps except my. Oh, I'm really inking that up. <laughs> anyway, uh, I got a couple from Dollar Tree and one from Timu. But okay. So look at it. It's so cute. And you just, you don't need to ink. Well, apparently I didn't, I need to ink it more. I needed to press harder on the other side. But I'm like, oh man. So, I got those from the Dollar Tree. Those stamp blocks. Mm-hmm. And those stamps, those bird stamps. Did you see that? I got something to show you. It's funny at the end of the video. But I start using the little flowers that's on there. I say bird stamps, and I'm using the flowers and the leaf. And I do want to fill that up. Um, okay, look. Oh, well, never mind. And then, I tell, you know what, Wanda? Thanks, Wanda. I, I found that... Uh, a roll of that ribbon in a tote somewhere and i'm like oh my goodness so there's the last one but i take that beautiful lace ribbon it's from the dollar tree and i wrap it around the top and the bottom of my picture and here is y'all oh i think that's beautiful yes i do 
How about you? You know why? I was going to put a bow or a flower and all this stuff, and I didn't because I felt like it was already busy enough. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I got three of these from the Dollar Tree. That brown one Miss Wanda sent me. Thanks, Wanda. <laughs> Wanda Cruz. Anyway, and the two black ones I had gotten previously. And I'm going to take that little thing off and and paint them all black and da-da-da. And then I got those um, five-gallon paint stirs. They're pieces. I saved that stuff, y'all. And I'm going to get them all the same length. Or, yeah. I'm just going to tape them together here. Sorry, y'all. I'm thirsty. And, um... <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to, yeah, saw them off anyway and shake that table real good, you guys. And after I get them, like, um, the length I want, I'm going to round off the corners. You see how I'm doing? I just take my little finger sander and I just round them. That's it. You know, it don't take much. That's really soft wood, that pine. And then I ended up painting them white. The reason I painted them black, I want them all have the same base color for when I paint them white. But look, I found this little company on Amazon. It's called, uh, um... Uh, I don't know. Did y'all see it? <laughs> and I got these rub on transfers from them, you guys. And they're really good. And it's a small company. It's it's a timeless designs. And they spell it T-H-Y-M-E-L-E-S-S -S designs. And you know what? I got all three of those those sheets of rub on transfers for only like eleven or twelve dollars, you guys. Seriously. And, um, I'll be able to use those a lot. And look, oh my gosh, this one's called, uh, Farmhouse Churches. Y'all, I want to show you how exactly, I ain't telling you anything I'm doing, but look how slow I removed that. Anyway, and I painted those in, um, Dusk by Waverly. And, yeah, now I'm going to coat them with, a, uh, a Mod Podge. And then I'm going to take Alien Sacky Glue and Hot Glue. I am so sorry, I'm talking about everything except what I'm doing. And then I take it again, Aileen's Tack Glue and Hot Glue. And those little square pieces there I got from the Ugly Truth Gals. Thanks, Ugly Truth Gals. Anyway, they came from Amazon in a pack of those little rounds and squares. And that Timeless Designs, they're not um, sponsoring me or anything like that. I just wanted to tell you about them. And then I take some eucalyptus and those little blue flowers from the Dollar Tree. They're so cute. And I take a peony. Um, and the one in the middle, of course, is a different color. But look at these, you guys. You would not know that that was a Dollar Tree background paint stir sticks and some square things from Amazon. I mean, come on. Come on. Look at them. Oh, so, yeah, I got inspiration from their, their packet. I forgot to say that, too. Okay. Miss Caroline Green, this is my last one. I mean, I have some other ones but that's the last one you got me i've used them all so anyway i'm gonna take um truffle chalk paint by Waverly, and i'm gonna stain i sprayed it down with water if you saw in the beginning i'm gonna stain my wood with that because the antique wax i just i hate trying to glue to it sometimes then i send it down real good now this is a napkin that i got from amazon y'all and first i was just gonna use the little chickies they're so cute but then i decided to use the chickies and the bunnies look it's it's very very uh vintage um napkin and i'm going to take my paintbrush again and dip it in water and go around and i'm going to tear you know and i painted those in cashew don't ever say that oh my goodness and i put on a coat of mod podge and after the mod podge dries i'm going to lay my napkin down where i want it i'm gonna put a piece of parchment paper on it and i'm going to take my little press and i'm going to um it reactivates that mod podge and then um your napkin sticks and i send off the excess now my little press you guys i got that from um uh oh it's in my description box that little thing i think at the time was only like 35 dollars. i know it still could be a lot of money but that's not bad for one and i'm going to do the same thing to my little easter bunny um napkin and i don't know why i'm just sitting there petting it and stuff but anyway i take that uh tim holtz distressing ink I got that one from Hobby Lobby a while back, and I think it's called Smoke Gray, Age Gray. It just wasn't dark enough for me. For what I, so then I take the one that Miss Roser sent me, I know, and um, thanks for hers. And um, it is walnut, and it was dark enough to suit me. And if y'all don't like distressing, don't don't do it. I mean, do yours however you want. This is just for inspiration, you guys. Don't put any nap. You, you don't, if you say I can't find those napkins, there's tons of napkins out there. I mean. Yeah, so, I, that, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I do both sides. And, um, which side do you think you like? Maybe it's the cheeky or the or the bunny rabbit. I originally liked the cheeky, but I think I changed it to the bunny rabbit. But anyway, 
yeah, I'm just distressing it also. And I'm sorry that I had you all to watch it this long. But I also do the sides. Um, yeah, because it's got a blend. Oh, and those little brushes. I love those things. They're blending brushes. Got them from Amazon, too. I don't know why I'm telling you about everything I got and how much and why. But anyway, I'm going to take some Spanish moss, and I'm going to hot glue it around my little base there. And then I'm going to trim it up because you want it to look nice, you know. I have missed you guys. This room is a disaster. Still, I've been working and working. But anyway, those little eggs I made like two years ago. And those little carrots I made like two years ago out of clay. They're so cute. But I put the uh, carrots with the bunny rabbit and the little eggs with the little chickies. And um, I'm going to take those pretty blue flowers from the Dollar Tree. They're almost like um, the lavender from Walmart, but they're blue. And, um, and I'm going to take, um, those yellow flowers. Those actually, um, are fall flowers, but I didn't care. And, um, I'm going to hot glue them down there. It's called fall grass. So, really, I've never seen grass look like that, but whatever. And look how cute these are. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I know they're dark, but I just, I, they're so, I love them. But look at the bunny rabbit. They almost look more like kangaroo. But, you know what? Look at my kangaroo. Anyway, just ignore me. Anyway, which side do you guys like best, you think? The bunny rabbits or the chickies? I think I like the bunny rabbit. Okay. I got these two carrots from Dollar Tree. I got these last year. I know there's different ones this year, but you could do the same thing. And I'm going to take my big honking scissors and I'm going to cut the tops off of them. Then I'm going to sand it down really good. And then I painted it orange, and I'm like, no, no, I'm going to do this. So then I painted it with Truffle by Waverly. And then I'm going to take my Elmer's glue, and y'all, I messed these up. Like, look, I took a new paintbrush, and it was like, um, still like stiff. And I ended up having to go over where I had already painted. You know how I tell her, you, you make a, try not to go over where you painted already. And this is why, because it doesn't crackle. Your paint gets on there too thick, or you, I don't know what you do. But anyway, it uh, it doesn't crackle as well. But that was fine with me, because I didn't want it heavy. I just wanted some brown coming through, you know, like a dirty old carrot. And I distress it with truffle. I also uh, take that and put it in my greenery on the top of my carrot. And that's that greenery I get from the Dollar Tree. But, and I'm so out of frame here. And, and see, there you go. Put it in there. And I put, like, little carrot lines on it. And then I'm going to hot glue that one to the other. One's a little bit higher, of course. And then this beautiful ribbon Miss Danny Steinmeier sent me. And I'm going to do this bow. You guys, it's really easy. And it's pretty bow. And it's perfect. It's like the finger bow, but without your fingers. And, yeah, you see how I'm, I'm folding that? And then I fold, yeah. And then you take it down. You wrap it up underneath it. And you see how you twist it like up under and pull it and you pull it slow there and I always put my index finger and my thumb in it and then I pull 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 and get it real tight and then that's a double loop bow with one tail and it's a beautiful bow but it's not as beautiful as that ribbon and then I'm going to dovetail the ends yeah yeah so pretty and then I'm going to use that piece right there as my hanger. Ah, oh, I ruined the suspense. You always wondering. Anyway, I'm going to take that. That's not raffia. That's the hula skirt from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to tie big blobs of it together. And and then I'm just going to even it out there. But, you know, not perfect because I still want it kind of wonky, kind of whimsical. And I'm going to hot glue it down. And I'm going to hot glue my bow down. And y'all, you know what I mean? Add my hanger, and that's going to cover up that green on the back. You know where all the hot glue is? Look, it is so cute and so easy. And honestly, it was $3.75 with uh, the greenery, but still, I mean, that's not bad for it to be so adorable, you know? Oh, I did put some little beads on it. I'm sorry, I forgot. And then I take a little bunny rabbit from that little pack there I got from the Hobby Lobby, and look, oh, ain't that cute? put it down on the bottom of my carrot i love that ribbon uh, danny i don't know why you got rid of that i'm oh, i'm so pretty i love plaid anything you guys i love plaid i don't know why i just do but anyway did i show this to you twice i sure enough did y'all don't want to see it twice you probably didn't want to see it once anyway we're just going to play through it now because i'm already there i'm not going to delete it <laughs> but anyway i'll just talk and talk like i always do so the other challenge was a plunger now, I want to kill Brenda. So, I take my big honking scissors here, and I cut that rubber piece off. These are the new plungers from the Dollar Tree, by the way. They're even jankier than... Well, they're not 
mine wasn't as crooked. But anyway, it's very, very flimsy. And then I take these two little glass bowls. They come in a set of three from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to take, I clean them with uh, rubbing alcohol. And I'm going to take Fix Off from Rose. Thanks, Rose. And Wanda, I'm using your glue uh, uh, sticks. Thanks, Wanda. <laughs> <laughs> not in that glue gun in the big one but anyway and i'm gonna glue those together and then i paint them black <clears throat> and i want to paint them before i go on and glue and yes i was asked to do some ribbon spool deal i don't know what i'll do but i started to save them because of what i'm doing with my ribbon you guys but i glued that one in my plunger so it does not collapse as bad and then in my garage i had this board it had angles cut off but i had to fix it so when it did 45 degree angles on corners and I routed the edges so it would match my small board from the Dollar Tree. I know, right? It's not the same route, um, but the bit, with the cut, because I didn't have that bit. But, you know, it's similar. But, again, fix all and hot glue and glue my plunger top down to my board. And then I'm going to take fix all and hot glue and glue my bottom. Yep. And, yep, there we go. It looks crooked, but I straightened it up, you guys. And, yes, I put weight on it. And then I painted it completely black when it dried. And then I'm going to take mineral, and I'm going to, like, heavily distract. I wanted it to look like concrete, you guys. <clears throat> and especially, like, in the middle where that those glass balls. It does. Look at it. Oh, I forgot. I put those beads there around it from the Dollar Tree in the center to cover up that. But it looks like concrete, y'all. It does. Look at it. I mean, it's. It'd be pretty to put a flower on outside, you know what I mean? But other than that, I don't know what I want with it. <laughs> anyway, so we had to use the bunny. Oh, okay. Here, I got that bunny rabbit. I'm sorry, you guys. <clears throat> My sinuses are killing me. Um, all the dust down here um, from Dollar Tree two years ago. And Rose sent me that paper. Thanks, Rose. I know, right, Rose? You, you paid for this entire video. But I got that board out of my garage, and it's ten and a half by f like five and a quarter. And I'm just finding a center here with my paddle bit, and I'm gonna take wood glue, and I'm gonna glue my plunger handle down in there. And then Miss Chris, I know I'm telling you guys, I'm just uh. Anyway, Christine Carter sent me that um knife set. Look at that; it's got all those different blades in it. Thanks, Christine. Anyway, I'm gonna sand around my bunny rabbit there to get the excess paper off, and then I take those little wood pieces wood slice things from i don't even know what i'm smiling about from uh the dollar tree and make the feet and then i take pool noodle and slide it down on my thing i don't know what i'm making here you guys i literally was like creating a frankenstein no joke <laughs> anyway i glued my bunny to my pool noodle and then i took tumbling tower blocks and glued it to her feet but i cut that pool noodle down and those beautiful mums come from Dollar Tree. They're like a cream color, a light baby blue, and a rose, dusty rose color. Anyway, very pretty. And those eggs there, I did get those from the Hobby Lobby. And um, I put skewers in them so I could stick them in my... I filled that thing full of those flowers, you guys. And then, <clears throat> on the other side where the bunny rabbit is, that was just the pool noodle side. I glued those carrots down. My best friend Brenda sent those to me. But then I was like, mm, it didn't go with, you know, so I did remove them. But I'm going to take Spanish moss and that other crazy moss. I, I found out it did come from Dollar Tree, you guys. And I mix them together, but I'm going to spread it out because it will go further. And then I'm going to hot glue it around my entire base. Y'all, I need a break. Anyway. Uh, that is an ornament came from Hobby Lobby two years ago. And um, so I got that paper there from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to cut it down to two and a half inches. Y'all, this happened to be a happy accident. You'll see in a minute. And I wanted to cover up uh, that hole and that wording, that black. I tried to sand it off. But anyway, I take my um, glue stick and mend it. Look. I, I used so much glue. That would have glued 12 pieces of paper. Anyway, and I just put it in the center. Well, I think it's the center, but, you know, I can't see very well. I my little round thing there. And then that word I got in a pack from Hobby Lobby it says Happy Easter. I think it has, like, four or five or maybe six in it. I don't know how many. And I take Eileen's tacky glue and glue it to it. And then that piece there come from Dollar Tree, and that piece of paper fit in the center of it. Perfect. So, anyway. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to take my glue stick and glue it down to the center of that. Mm -hmm. And then that um, Hello Spring came from my wonderful friend 
from church, Miss Susie Morton, and uh, I'm going to glue it down on there. I wanted that raw wood look. And then I take Aileen's Tacky Glue and hot glue, and I'm going to glue that plaque to the side where my flowers are. Were. I know, right? Y'all, I don't even know. I don't even know what this thing is. A florkin dorkin. Anyway, and then um, I glue my round piece to the other side there. <laughs> Anyway, when, when it's four in the morning and you're exhausted, you'll do anything. So, yeah. And I'm going to make sure y'all knew how to glue that. And, yep. Anyway, there we go. And then I put a little round piece, because I didn't cut the tip of my plunger off, from uh, Miss Valerie Allison on top of that. And then that wood egg. I don't know. Thank Valerie. I don't know where that came from. But I made a little bow out of that Paul ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I wrapped it around the base of my thing also. But anyway, you guys, I know that was a lot, but here it is, and I actually think that I wanted this, it was supposed to be shaped like an egg. My flowers was supposed to be egg-shaped, but they're not. They're just a big blob of flowers. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Wanda, I found that lace ribbon, my last one. Did I already tell oh, yeah, so I tied that bow, put it in her hair, and then I took the slimmer one and put it around her neck and a little flower in it, but... And, you know, yeah, there it is, you guys. My Florkin Dorkin. Yeah. So, okay, y'all. Right here, those things I've had since I started my channel, or maybe before. Um, I didn't know what to do with them, so here, I, I'm doing this with them. So, I, I removed the little peg. Don't throw that little cardboard piece away. And one of them I'm going to paint in truffle. And then the bases I'm going to paint in moss. And then I'm going to paint one of them in summer porch or front i don't know what it's called anyway but then i'm goofy the one I, you'll see um yeah so there i don't know okay so i got this brenda sent me this you know my lovely brenda and look y'all if you i miss i had to iron it and if you do make sure you put down a parchment paper or teflon because that paint <clears throat> on that um burlap can get stuck to your iron uh, you should actually put it on your mat also. But that's the reason I'm showing you me iron. I want to remember to tell y'all that. So I take these leaves. <clears throat> They're lamb's ears, what they are actually. And I trace, one smaller one's bigger. And I trace them out. And then I take that white chalk marker and I trace it out on my fabric. And I was, yeah, so see. And then I cut a slit in the bottom of each of them, you see? And then I hot glue it and fold one over the other. And that's going to give me that little, like, curve, more like a leaf. And I do it to the burlap also, you guys. And the burlap is bigger than the other material. And both of them came from Dollar Tree. And then I trim off the part of sewer. So I needed nine of each of those. And then, this was supposed to be the brown one. And yeah, I grabbed the yellow one. So there you go. Um, and I'm going to start gluing them one to another and then gluing them all the way around my little, that thing. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm making a sunflower. And then I was like, wait, I'll put my last one. It wasn't big enough for me. So I cut one smaller. Well, not here, not yet. And then I did more burlap. And yeah. And then seven of those and then it still wasn't big enough for me so y'all will see y'all see anyway um so i put my i just hot glued my little piece back in the back of that and then i'm going to take a uh, jute and wrap it around first i'm going to burn the, the fuzz off of it man that was this one's awful getting towards the end it's just terrible and i go in and start hot gluing my burlap first actually i start on the outside you know, right around the edge, and then I go to the inside. So that way I can layer up and make it two burlap stacks tall. Does that make sense? Anyway, and that's what I do. So after I wrap it, I go on and, and do it another round. So it's kind of like even. It's flat. You know what I'm saying? I know. I don't even know what I'm saying half the time. You're like, I don't even know. Yeah. So see what I mean? <clears throat> anyway, yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then just cut off the tip there and stuff it down in the center. And then, I'm, I, yeah. So, I drew like a bunny ear, but I want it to be the size of that egg right there. And y'all could use carrots, those little tiny wooden carrots from the Dollar Tree. They would work. You just have to cut off that, um, the, well, no, you wouldn't. Anyway, and then I cut out that fabric and I glued it to cardstock. Yep. With just that glue stick. 
yeah. And then I take a uh, jute and I put it around the edge of it there. And then we're going to cut them all out. How many did I have there? Wait a minute. I don't know how many I needed. Was it five? Anyway, I think so. And see, I'm just gluing them to the back because it needed to be as big as my next flower. And it wasn't. And I'm like, dude. So, anyway. Then I just cut out a circle and I cover up the back there. See? There we go. <clears throat> just hot glue it down. That could actually be a flower also. So, Brenda sent me this too. Look how cute. Daisy burlap, you guys. I know, right? And, um, anyway, so then I take the Easter eggs from the Dollar Tree. And I trace them out on first white fabric from the Dollar Tree. And then, um, the, the daisy fabric from the Dollar Tree. And, um, I take, um, beacon fabric tack glue and I glue it to the white. I wouldn't do that. I would just use my purple glue stick and glue that fabric to that egg. So that way you're not missing pieces. You know what I mean? It's like there's spots where mine wasn't glued. I mean, it covered up, but it doesn't matter. So, after I trace those out, I do fold them in half. And I go on the inside, and I cut them smaller because I want that. Because daisies are white. So, I wanted that white on the outside of my egg there to show. See? And I just hot glue those down. Yeah. <laughs> These are cute, you guys. <laughs> Very whimsical. And then I take that... Uh, that jute that comes from the Walmart, and I um yeah go around my yeah, and then I'm gonna hot glue them all the way around my that thing, and see it was supposed to be yellow in the middle because daisies are yellow in the middle, but it didn't work. So and then I'm gonna hot glue my little piece back in there, and then um I do take <clears throat> excuse me the jute, and I had to shove it up under my flowers, so I wanted to make sure it all got covered you know what i mean and then i just did the same thing wrapped it around but i just did one swipe on it because i'm gonna take those little yellow balls that timu sent me those are fuzzy balls um i don't know why they put fuzz on them but whatever and then i'm gonna take small not fuzzy balls or they're like hairy balls or something the other one's fuzzy but they got little things sticking out of them but anyway i'm gonna wrap the uh, around there Again, and I go to, and I just realized what I said. So, I know some of y'all's going to fall out, but I don't even, yeah. So, let's just move on. Anyway, and yeah, I wrap, yeah, I did that. And here they are, you guys. Oh, I did glue a little bee to my sunflower and a wooden bee and then a wooden ladybug to my uh, daisy. <laughs> <laughs> They're really, really short, but ginormous. They're so cute. <laughs> I don't know why. Anyway, you guys. Yes, so here is everything. Wow. I did like 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 DIYs. And this video was short. And yes, those one, two, three, I count them as three because I did a work of three. And then the double-sided ones, absolutely yes. So, anyway, I hope y'all have a blessed week. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I sure have missed you. Bye! Mwah. Danny Steinmeier made these beautiful Easter DIYs. And then Diane Cassidy took that little wooden shoe and made a paintbrush holder. How cute. <laughs> love it. I'm so immature. Can you imagine if someone came to our country and asked for tampons and um, wanting stamps and we gave them actual tampons? They'd be like, I can't stamp anything with this. <laughs> Hi, Michael Harris. Michael is 11 and he's my friend.